Hi beauties, welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. For today, I'm going to be doing a look that I'm going to be go doing to go with my pajamas. I was thinking about doing green, but I think it might be a little too much to do green, so I'm gonna do a neutral eye, but it's gonna be really cute. And yes, we're gonna do family pajama pictures. So I'll make sure to insert the picture at the end of the video so you can see how they come out. But we are about to get ready, get set, and go. So if you guys are ready to see what look I create for our family, um, pajama PJ pictures, then please stay tuned. Don't forget to like this video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Subscribe. Subscribe. Hey. Hey. Subscribe. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching, and let's get started. All right, beauty, let's start moisturizing and mattifying. So we're using the e.l.f. Matte Oil Control Lotion. You guys know this is a staple of mine. It gets my face nice. Then I'm using this serum from the Petals line from Lashing Out Glam. It has hyaluronic acid and a bunch of other amazing skincare products in it. And then the Petals water and I just spritz that on. It's like a toner. Then I'm going in with the e.l.f. Putty Primer and I am getting my skin nice and primed, filling in those pores and making sure that our makeup has a smooth application. Priming is definitely key. I do not recommend skipping this step because it just helps your makeup to look nice and smooth. And then I'm going in with this setting powder called Chalk Dust from the Crayon Case in the letter A just to mattify my skin prior to putting on my foundation. For foundation, we're going in with the Too Faced Matte Foundation in Brulee. This is my favorite foundation to use right now. It lasts all day and it gives a beautiful finish. So I definitely highly recommend this foundation. This is my go-to at the moment. And so far I haven't found anything else that's swayed me away from it um, lately. So definitely check out the Too Faced Matte Foundation. It's not super matte as you can see. And then I use the Too Faced Concealer and this is the Born This Way Concealer and Cookie. This concealer is also amazing as you can see, it gives amazing coverage and it is um, a super big dope applicator which I absolutely love. I also went in with this e.l.f. concealer in medium and I used a little bit of that for brightening effects. And then in with the Juvia's Place foundation stick in the color Benin and this is what I use to contour because it's super easy and blendable. And my P. Louise base in Winter Rose as a cream contour, I mean a cream blush, because um, it just blends out really nicely. And I just found another way to use one of my makeup products that I don't use often um, as something else. So I really recommend you guys try things like that. Eye bases can be concealers. It just depends on um, the colors and how you can mix them with your makeup, but definitely makeup has no rules so you can use different products for different things we first blend out the contour I always start off with the blending the contour first and then I blend out the blush um, and then the concealer because I don't want to blend out the concealer immediately I want it to sit so it can get nice and opaque so now that that's blended where as you can see we're blending the blush and it looks so beautiful it leaves a really beautiful nice soft pink and I love it and now that that's blended out we're about to start blending the um, concealer and as you can see it gives amazing coverage and you just tap and as you can see everything just melts together as you tap just tap 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 And make sure that your sponge is um, wet enough. You don't want to go in with a dry sponge. You want to go in and make sure that you wet your sponge and wring out the water good. And it should expand the sponge. And that is where you want your sponge to be in order for it to really just make everything melt really easily. Um, so definitely make sure to do that prior to going in with your sponge. Don't just go in dry. You can use it dry. It just doesn't give the same effect to me as far as it just melting it into your skin y'all see how this is looking and the melt is real honey 
So now, once I get this all nice and tapped out, we're gonna start to set the face. And now, when I set my face, I like to first go in with the setting powder that's like my complexion, um, because if you do that, you won't have any flashback. Normally, you'll have flashback if you um, just go directly into your highlighting powders, um, in my experience. So I recommend that you do a setting powder that's your complexion first, and then go in and add your highlighting and contouring powders. So right now, I literally just went back in with my contour brush just to clean up any lines where I had contour and make sure that I don't lose that once blending out the highlight. Everything is looking good right now. So we're going to start the setting process. So this is the H Octus powder from the Crayon Case, the one that we used earlier to mattify the skin. And now we are tapping that across the face just to get an even um, mattified look so this is really just serving the purpose of mattifying purpose of mattifying the skin it's not actually um setting the highlighting contour so make sure like i said to go in with the powder your complexion first blend that all around to give you like a flat base and then start to go in with your highlighting and contouring powders so now that that's complete, I'm going in with this flower powder in the color Plantain. It is a yellow base powder. I put that underneath the eyes to set everything and make it look nice and seamless. This color is really just setting the under eye color. Um, as you can see, it's not too much of a difference between that color and my skin color. Um, so it's not really adding a huge brightening effect, but it is setting everything. So I go in and set everything first with the color that is um, a little brighter than my under eye, but close to my complexion. And then I'll contour and then go back in with another color that's um, a lot lighter as a brightener. So it's... Uh, layers of powders i use i do use three setting powders when i use my when i do my um makeup but i do have oily skin so if you don't have oily skin the prepping that i use um using the um a choctus powder is not necessary but if you do have oily skin you definitely want to make sure that you go in and um do that because it is necessary So I'm now just tapping still the um, plantain and I'm just really tapping it in with the brush and making sure that everything is nice and set. I don't want to um, use this color as a color where I bake. I like to use the brightening one to bake and that'll be on top of this powder so it won't be too, um, it won't, the effect won't get too bright. Like if you lay it on top of another powder, it helps to diffuse it a little. So this is the Contraditional book from the Crayon Case. I'm now contouring my cheekbones, going around my forehead, and just making sure to go around the contoured areas and set all of the cream contour that we already blended. As you can see, we are getting it nice and chiseled, so our cheekbones will be sharp. And we're going to also go across the nose, just a little, go into the eyebrow, always bring the nose contour into the eyebrow, and around the perimeter of the face get those uh, jaw bones chiseled make sure that everything is looking nice and lifted and once we do this we're going to actually go into the um, other um, setting powder the brightening one and it's called cassava from beauty bakery so i'm just blending around right now now i'm going to go ahead and go in to this lighter powder and start to blend that as well and we're going to blend that underneath the eye And as you can see, that one's lighter than the other one. Um, it still has a yellow base, but it's a little brighter. And that's going to help us to have the brightening effect that you want underneath your eyes to give it a nice lift. And I use this little puff that I got from Shein. It is really, really nice. It gets right into the areas perfectly. So I definitely recommend it. They were like $2 for four. Um, and I'm just tapping that around all the areas where I did my highlight. I'm going to blend it in underneath the um, jawbone, but like underneath the eye, I'm gonna let it bake a little because I'm going to start my eyeshadow. But literally this sponge just taps it right in and gets it nice and blended. 
and I'm going to actually add even a little bit more powder underneath the eye. Then go ahead and shape out that nose. Perfect. And we're, as you can see, there we go. Adding a little bit more of the powder. Perfect. So now we're going to go in with the um, coconut base from Fruits Cosmetics. We need to add our eye base so our shadow can pop. So I'm just blending that out, making sure that there's no harsh lines with that so that everything is nice and seamless once we start to go into our shadow. This is the new Persuasion palette from Bullet Beauty. And this is what we're going to use for the look today. I went into the dark brown. And I'm just literally using a crease brush and creating the line for the cut crease that I'm going to be creating. And I'm literally just going back and forth and tapping until I get the eye shape that I want. So just tap, tap, tap until you get the intensity that you want. Then I'm going into this reddish brown right on top of that and blending it out with a lighter tan color now to create a gradient. You want to go in with about three colors if you want to have a good gradient. Um, you could go in with even more but about three colors at least um, create your, create a good gradient for you. So a dark, a dark brown, reddish tone brown, and um, a light tan color for closer to the brows. And I'm using this makeup wipe to clean up, up the crease where we're going, where the lid, where we're going to create the cut crease. So literally, as you can see, I just created the shape. Now I'm going in with my base and I am just tapping along where I'm going to be um, putting my lid color. So literally just taking my time to cut the crease. Once you have created the shape, it makes it a lot easier to follow along and know exactly where you're going to be putting the lid colors. So that's what we're doing right now. And putting the lid colors in. Take your time when you're cutting the crease, make sure you get it nice and as perfected as possible. And I'm going to bring it up to the side. And now I'm just going in with this brush that is very, very small to go across the line with the dark brown and make sure everything is nice and crisp and clean. Now I'm tapping on a light tan color on the lid just to set the lid. And then I'm going to add a shimmer. So for now, I could have just left it if I wanted to have just a matte shadow look. I could have just left it with this tan color, but I decided that I wanted to actually add the shimmer. This is a shimmer from J. LaRue Cosmetics, and it is a beautiful gold color. And I'm just tapping that all across the lid to get some nice sparkle going. And this neutral eye, and I think it looks so beautiful. This look was actually for, oh, then I'm going in with my Limey Liner from Juvia's Place and creating my wing. Um, this look was actually for our pajamas pictures, which is why I have on these pajamas, um, because we did some Christmas PJ pictures. But it actually, to me, will probably be more of a um, New Year's look. So I wanted to post it now between Christmas and New Year's for you to have a New Year's look for um, the holiday. So I'm adding my uh, lash glue on the lid and then I'm adding this beautiful glitter from Bold of Beauty and it was Melissa's favorites I believe is the bundle that I use and it, it doesn't have a name on it um, but I'm just tapping this beautiful glitter and it's a mixture of like fine glitter and chunky glitter and I'm tapping that across the whole lid as you can see which I think gives New Year's vibes so I'm loving how it's looking then I went in with my antique um, graffiti liner from Lashing Out Glam with this fine brush I'm just going across the top of the cut crease and also going across the liner to add just a little gold effect to it um, and I love how it came out super beautiful and this look was not very hard as long as you have the right brushes Lashing Out Glam has some amazing detailing brushes that makes getting any detailing done super easy as you can see i just went right across and it was perfect then i went in with my
liquid liner to create the tail of the front of the liner. Um, I just wanted to extend it out to give my eye more of that cat eye shape and um, just go across any areas I felt need that needed a little bit more attention. Then I went in with my L'Oreal Extra Intense Black Pencil. This pencil is my favorite and um, it's super black and just very creamy. And then I'm going through all the lead colors and putting them underneath the eye as my, um, as we smoke out the under eye. I always use the colors I used on the lid underneath the eye. So now I'm going in with my e.l.f. Um, pencil. And this is the Precise Brow Pencil in the color Brunette. And we are shaping out the brows right now. And I like, I like a really nice natural looking brow, so I don't like it to be too dark and not too sharp. So I'm just taking my time doing hair like strokes and then cleaning that up with some concealer. So as you can see, I'm cleaning this brow up now. And now we are cleaning up underneath the brow, getting it nice and smooth. And then we're gonna go in with our high lash darning so extra lashes because you know we are so extra and we want this to pop for these pictures and my lashing out glam bottom line mascara to get the lashes popping the bottom lashes and the top and now i'm just blending away the extra powder underneath the eyes everything looks so nice and smooth i love how everything is looking so far now we're going in with the blush binder from the crayon case and going in with the bronzer colors on the first page to make sure that we warm the face up. We need this face to come back to life because you know, when she has the highlighting contour, it's like cool tone, so it's flat. And this is going to bring the warmth back and bring the energy back and just, ooh, look at it. I just love bronzing. Then I'm going in with my highlighting powder and dusting that underneath the cheekbone to chisel out that. Then going in with the e.l.f. Cosmetics um, blotting powder i like to use this as a setting powder and it just makes everything look nice and airbrushed and mattified and we're going to highlight with our 24 karat gold highlighter from lashing out glam as well as our um honor roll highlighter from the crayon case now i'm going in with the king lipstick from lashing out glam to outline the lips and i'm going to go in with my bombshell gloss from lashing out glam for the center of the lips then a little bit of um, the medium concealer from elf cosmetics to add a little bit of a highlight and the um, lashing out glam nude gloss and the fenty beauty um, gloss bomb and boom that is the look you guys the lip is giving the eyes are giving it's all giving new year's eve vibes i love the sparkles and the cut crease and the drama of it all even the lashes everything is just came together gorgeously and i'm here for it i can't wait for you guys to see the pictures at the end so stay tuned so you can see all right beauty so this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on our look for our christmas photos the photos came out so beautiful i'm going to make sure to add the pictures at the end of the video so make sure you guys stay tuned so you can see those pictures we ended up having pictures professionally done and then they had like these other sets and you know i would have my cell phone out and i was taking pictures and i was like oh feel free to take some pictures so we have pictures at like probably like four other sets that we took with um a cell phone so I'm going to show you the professional pictures first and then I'll show you the ones that we took with our cell phone. But it was a lot of fun. This look looked really beautiful in the picture. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know if you are feeling this holiday glam. Holiday glam to me is all about green, red, and sparkles. So we have a green look that I posted for you guys. I gave you a sparkle look now. So I'm going to try and get a red look up and then I feel like I will have fulfilled my holiday duty for you guys. <laughs> so let me know if you guys are feeling this look. Let me know if you were rocking in the comments below. Let me know which one is your favorite Christmas picture that I post. Um, thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you for watching and don't forget to be your own kind of beautiful because there is only one you. Bye.